Li Peng, how much of a player is he now in Chinese politics? Isn't it? I think he still uh, represents sort of. Uh, and Vice Premier Li Lanqing. something about what we can expect? Yes, uh, we are seeing the, uh, the honor guard at the minute, uh, as I said, made up of the, uh, the three elements, the, uh, the, the PLA, uh, the uh, PLA Navy and the PLA Air Force, uh, carrying the uh, national flag. Uh, what we can expect then after the, uh, after the honor guard has, uh, has marched in front of the, uh, the, 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 the um, uh, enclosure is that uh, we will probably then see a, 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 the, uh, a parade from the uh, all arms representing the, uh, the Navy, the Air Force and the Army, followed then by uh, armor, um, missiles uh, and then the nuclear element uh, and then uh, we would hope then uh, to see the, uh, the fly past uh, from, the, uh, from the Air Force. There will be a total of 240,000 troops taking part. And, uh... Yes, I, th that number would indicate the, uh, the strength of, uh, of, of one of the group armies, probably the group army based uh, in and around Beijing, uh, so that this parade uh, doesn't uh, have a radical effect on the national security of the, of the country as a whole. So this would be mainly made up of troops uh, from, from the Beijing garrison uh, and, uh, and that command. We have the uh, formation of the National Defense University, which uh, Deng Xiaoping inspected earlier. arms as they march past uh, Dao Xiaoping uh, and then giving an eyes right and uh, presenting arms uh, in salute to their leader and then once they've uh, passed the enclosure the command will be given to, uh, to eyes front and they will resume uh, their original marching step. Well this is the major formation from the Xu Jiazhuang uh, Military Academy, uh, one of the most famous in China which uh, was responsible for training many of the elite uh, generals of the day. from the uh, PLA Navy, very smart in their naval whites. Well, this is a formation from the first uh, naval academy in China based in Dalian, and certainly uh, the most distinguished naval academy in China. in line is the um, representatives from the military, from the Air Force Academy. Uh, this is also the elite um, training uh, facility for the PLA Air Force. The parade will last for two hours. This is the military portion of it. Uh, 240,000 people taken, taking part, but the actual people who will be uh, marching will be 11,000. And you'll be seeing tanks and armored, other armored vehicles, rockets and missiles, latest of China's armory. Well, this is a certain group army from the uh, Beijing military region, which took part in a number of major warfares, including uh, the warfare in um, Korea, as well as the revolutionary uh, warfare to liberate uh, China. Infantry elements here now, uh, presenting arms in their latest uh, combat wear, uh, with their combat helmets. Bayonets.
later on there will be um, the armored vehicles, the rockets, the missiles. There will be 400 uh, uh, different kinds of them, and 132 jets will take part in a flyby. Naval ratings uh, with their new assault rifle. We have various divisions from the Navy. Uh, these are parachute uh, landing forces uh, signified by their special uh, uh, combats. Um, the role of parachute uh, paratroop forces is, uh, is not clearly defined in, uh, in latest military uh, strategy, uh, but uh, these would be uh, elite, well-trained uh, paratroop forces, capable of, uh, of being dropped into uh, behind enemy lines. Um, and uh, in the event of a conflict with, uh, for example, Taiwan, they, they would play a key role. Royal Air Force personnel. In their flying suits. What's the significance that they should be in their different uniforms? Some in camouflage, some in flying suits? I, I think it's it's to emphasize uh, that they are distinct elements of uh, of the of the PLA, uh, emphasizing, uh, but however, uh, emphasizing the fact that they are unified uh, under under one common uh, common army, uh, but but showing that uh, they they unique uh, uh, particular specifications. Uh, they would have pride in uh, in their their own particular branches, their own particular regiments, their own particular arms. look like uh, female troops. Yeah, this is a formation of um, women soldiers from the Norman Bastion um, Academy. Medical? Medical Academy. Oh, the paramedics. Well, these are paramedics, right? Yes. Right. They have taken part in parades, uh, including the one in 84, uh, at which time they were commanded by Deng Xiaoping. This parade seems to be more colorful. There's more variety yes. than uh, in 1984. Now we have the um, People's Armed Police, which plays a big role in maintaining order in the cities, as well as um, guarding uh, major um, civilian and military installations. Has there been cutbacks on the number of soldiers in the military? Well, actually, um, in the past few years, we have seen the mobilization of up to half a million soldiers. However, many of those immobilized soldiers have been reabsorbed into the People's Armed Police because there's a major role for the PAP to play in maintaining order in the cities. And that is what the leadership worries about most, is uh, right, right, instability. Right. In case of urban unrest, for example, a major um, worker demonstration, then the PAP may be mobilized to in, uh, restore order. And that may be something that China would like to see. The uh, U.S. policy in recent years toward this question, what if China attacked Taiwan, what will the U.S. do, uh, has been characterized by what the Americans themselves describe as a creative or strategic ambiguity, um, <laughs> which means uh, you know, we keep you guessing, that kind of thing. Although in this latest crisis with the two states uh, uh, crisis, um, uh, we, we've heard that the Americans have in Well, these are the male militia uh, rubber scientists from the Beijing area, including rubber scientists from the uh, Shougang uh, Iron Steelworks in western Beijing. Which has been closed to uh, minimize the smog right. today.
our event, we are seeing the female um, Malaysia representatives from the Beijing region. They're carrying uh, assault, uh, assault rifle. Uh, can't quite make that out. Been very smart in their red, red uniforms and red berets. Again, members of the same battalion took part in the uh, 1984 military parade and was highly uh, commanded by the leadership. Would they go into combat? Like, uh, there was an invasion of Taiwan. Quite unlikely. Um, well, in the wake of the demobilization, I think they would make up for the shortfall uh, and perform um, duties, perhaps, which uh, regular soldiers may not have time or resources to do. But we do see, in fact, in the past one, two years, a revival of the militia, and um, particularly after the uh, recent outbreak of tension with Taiwan, uh, the training of militia in different parts of the country, particularly uh, Fujian, Zhejiang and so forth, um, have increased. You're watching the uh, 50th anniversary parade in Beijing. It, it's a two-hour long parade involving tens of thousands of people. This is the military portion, and um, there'll be 